All right, so now we are in the dashboard section of my WordPress site. This is Chuck Can Do You Can Too.com. So, the program that I'm going to use in order to show you guys how you can really use the effectiveness of email marketing is MailChimp. So, what MailChimp is is an email autoresponder. It's a lot of them out there. Constant Contact, uh, AWeber, Get Response. I think AWeber is kind of leading right now, but anyway, all of them cost money. MailChimp does as well, but it's forever free plan. It's outstanding as far as what it gives you in value. So we're gonna pull it up. It's MailChimp. What you do, you can either sign up for free, but I'm just gonna show you what I mean by the forever free for new business. Hit learn more. Bam. So you get up to 2,000 subscribers to 12,000 emails a month. So even if you only wanted to send, well, not only if you maxed out. 2,000 subscribers and you send them an email every week for increments of 2,000 you still have another 4,000 emails that you can send out so it's a lot of value they give you for free forever all right so what you'll do is you'll hit sign up for free it's gonna take you to the login page and your email whatever that is your username whatever you want that to be your password that ain't none of my business so now we're gonna go back to the dashboard I'm gonna go into plugins. I'm gonna go to add new plugin. Hold on, let me see. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm gonna go to the search plugins area right here at the top right. I'm gonna type in again. Mailchimp. I'm gonna let this do its thing. Mailchimp forms by mail Munch is the one I'm using. As you see, it's already active for me. But for you, if you don't have it, you just hit install now. It's gonna like do some little stuff, little circley thing. It's gonna have either a blue or a green button to say activate. You'll click activate and it's activated. On the side here, you'll see it pop up MailChimp. They go forms, landing pages, autoresponder settings. Those are another video. And also within your settings area, you got like a MailChimp settings area. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use MailChimp and then you're gonna to go to the forms tab. All right, so now we're in the MailChimp form section. I've got two forms created here. We got Chuck Can, Do You Can Too, and that's just the list. So we're gonna hit preview and preview is just going to show you how it reacts on my site so this is chuck can do you can to.com making money online makes sense um you know i just I, I try a lot of stuff and i just keep it a book when i review it you know what i'm saying i don't really kind of try and talk with a whole bunch of internet marketing jargon or anything like that hit that hit y'all with that jargon you know to my ah you know but i don't you know I don't, I don't jargon it up you know what i'm saying i don't hit you with a lot of internet marketing slang i just kind of get it to your real so what it is or what happens is when you scroll down my page there you go i set it to pop up at about 10 percent. so when you scroll down my page i don't want you to have to go all the way down to the bottom i want you to go all the way down to the bottom but i don't want you to have to in order to opt in to my offer or opt in to my mailing list now you can set it to where as soon as they pop up on your page your opt-in comes up and, and that's cool too so but right now i've got my copy right here this image I created in something outside of MailChimp. That's how you can really kind of stretch the limits of what you can do on the free one because the free one limits you on customization. So you can make your image here as detailed as you want with all your ad copy, call to action, whatever, and just really utilize MailChimp in order to facilitate getting their email into your uh, autoresponder list. I'm going to show you how I do that now. So now we're going to go back to... MailChimp and forms gonna bring us up to MailChimp forms. I can go to add new form, but I don't necessarily need to. I'm gonna just show y'all mine. I'm gonna hit edit. So now you'll see I got the headline here. I don't have a headline in, but if I want to type one, you know, that's where it'll that's where it'll appear. All right, so you got that. Um, what's the word? So like I said, this is an image, so you can kind of see that <clears throat> it actually. I changed the background of it so it's kind of off-white, but I actually kind of like that. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, right here, uh oh, that's, that's not it. Right below the image is where I could change my copy. So you can see it, and it's correspondingly changing it on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna just leave it back. New post, period. There we go. All I'm asking for is an enter your to enter your email. 
um, because that's all the information I need. Now, for your business, if you need it more, I'll show you how you can edit the fields that pops up as well. My background, yeah, it's not white. So let's see if I can get it to white. There we go. All right, so that's F, 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 that's all. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's all white. All right, so my submit button background is green. Uh, color psychology means go. I think it's kind of like trusting also with like blue or something like that. I had it blue at first, so I'm gonna check. I'm gonna try green, and my text is white. All right. So fields, like I said, I only I'm only asking for the email. But if you're a contractor, if you're a lawyer, if you're a construction worker, insurance agency, any type of firm, uh, and you need a little bit more detailed information, you can. You can add the field of company, first last name, name phone number website zip code so if you're um, in a certain area or you want people from a certain area you can kind of find out where they are by adding that one little field and help you segment off where your people are coming from so you know how to market to people in a certain zip code area so it's really really awesome what you can do with still a free option of this powerful uh, email autoresponder alright so I don't need that hit behavior so Behavior, like I said, my trigger point is when someone scrolls down my page 10%. My thing gonna pop up. Damn, let's get this sound crazy. My, my opt in is gonna pop up and uh, give them the opportunity to, you know, opt into my list and hopefully do business with me in the future after I build uh, some value and establish some trust and position myself as an authority figure in what it is that I do. And you can do the same. High duration after a user closes the box. How many days is it gonna take bef before the box comes up? Or how many days should the box stay hidden? I set that to zero. Reason being, I want them to have the opportunity of doing business with me it's every time they come in contact with me. Even if they're not my perfect prospect. That That's the beauty of the email marketing is I can then warm them up by, hey, okay, you know, I understand you're not ready to go now, that's cool. A lot of people aren't. Here's some value. I see that you're interested in this. I'll give you this report. I'll give you, you know, this inside tip, these tricks, these life hacks. Hopefully I've established myself as credible. Now let's do some business. And that's what allows you to do ink on complete autopilot. All right. So save, continue. You got your MailChimp settings. Like I said, you're going to create your MailChimp account first, and then you'll just integrate it. So I'm going to hit change account. I'm going to hit add another integration. As you can see, it pulls up a lot of different uh, autoresponders. Like I said, I, I don't get any type of kickback from MailChimp for you guys using MailChimp. I want to say that. So it's not an affiliate type of thing. It's just it works and it's an awesome free option if you don't utilize any type of email marketing, um, just email marketing period uh, in your marketing efforts for your business. So like I said, Aweber is good. Get response good. I tried constant contact. I really didn't like it. And I think it was it cost more than a rubber um, but those are all paid MailChimp's paid too like I said but as far as it being free now it just works now if you out there and you got some experience on some of the other ones and if you find a free one let me know I'll check it out do a video and do uh, do a review and do a video for it. all right so I'm gonna hit sorry I don't want to integrate and I'm gonna hit finish so cool I'll refresh this page by clicking my home link right there on Chuck can do and you can too. scroll 10% bam there it goes right there all right so that's pretty much how you do it you're gonna create your account in MailChimp it's free forever 2,000 subscribers 12,000 emails a month go from there back into your WordPress dashboard get MailChimp forms by mail munch I just walk you through how to set it up and uh, you know, get to adding email marketing campaigns and stuff like that to your marketing efforts, and hopefully it grows your business. Let 2018 be that year of growth. Until next time, I am Super Chuck. Chuck can do, you can too. Fat Boy Fresh TV on YouTube. Share it with your folks. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. All right.